Okay, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Today we're talking about the Logitech Review and Google TV. This is the back of the device, and you'll see that there is a, an HDMI in, an HDMI out, and we'll talk about what that's available for later on in this show. Uh, the front of the device is very simple, and uh, it just has one little light on it, and that's it. And uh, the little Logitech symbol down here at the bottom. Uh, it's pretty much uh, all elsewhere. So uh, what you have is a keyboard device that uh, is run by a couple of AA batteries in the back here. Otherwise, it's purely wireless. And uh, it allows you to do, uh, let's turn the light out. It allows you to turn the TV on, turn on the uh, my direct TV uh, satellite receiver is connected to it and uh, so up here I turn on the set top box which is the direct TV and oh <laughs> got to turn the switch on so there's a switch to turn the keyboard on and then I turn on the set top box that should turn on the direct TV and turn on the TV And the TV's coming on. It didn't turn on the set-top box. I'm going to click that again. There it goes. Okay. And so we're watching TV now. So all controlled by turning on this from the box here. Also, I can uh, adjust the volume and change channels, and, uh, which I need to turn the volume down. So we'll turn the volume down a little bit. And you can see it's going down up there on the, the screen. So, uh, we can change channels, here I'm changing channels, and uh, it allows me to look at the guide, the DirecTV guide, and it shows me the guide, and uh, the DVR is the DirecTV DVR, and the movies that we have recorded already, and they're available to us, there, okay, and uh, those are all kind of neat things about how to use the TV, just a remote for the TV. But the real value, if I click on the home button here, it switches to uh, the Google TV application. It's kind of hard for me to do all of this at one time, but uh, we're going to see in different uh, applications that we've used recently. There is a glare. I'm going to try to move around a little bit and get off, away from that glare a little bit. Okay, and it's showing me my recent applications, and uh, so we're going to use the Clicker app, which is really a cool application. And now this looks like uh, one of the Android, and it is actually running Android, one of the Android tablets, and so you can see the Q that I have set up within this clicker application of different uh, shows that might want to watch and these are mostly Alfred Hitchcock so there are 133 episodes it says there if I click on my remote it shows me these episodes and and uh, you can see the different episodes uh, and if you execute one of them let's see it's uh, like the monkey's paw there, and if I switch over here, it allows me to say that I have seen that already, and it won't show it up anymore. But if otherwise, it'll uh, go to Hulu for me. And of course, Hulu doesn't actually work through this, but it does tell me what's available. It's, it's pretty cool in that it allows. Me. You notice there's a uh, 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 a pointer there. Can you see that? The pointer. You may not can see it, but uh, you can see it moving around there. Okay, uh, going back to home. The home screen has all the applications that I have on the uh, Google TV, and uh, it allows me to execute those. I can use the pointer, and there is a little mouse pad area right in here that I can move around. And then the key is right below it, 
there's a key here right below the mouse pad area or there's another key over here on the other side that if you hold it with two hands you can use your thumb on this one and your right hand to adjust the, the mouse on this side it works pretty good but as you move around uh, you can move it with the pointer that way or you can use the arrow keys these are the up and down right and left arrow keys and if you use the arrow keys it will highlight the item a little bit better and allow you to see it. Okay, so if uh, let's say that we wanted to go to the Android market, oops, moved out. Uh, we'll go over here to the Android market. That's the market application. And we click on that. And it loads the Android market. Now, not all applications are available for. Google TV. So some applications are, but uh, not a lot. There's not a large uh, grouping of applications that are available. Now you can sideload applications, uh, but you can see uh, there are uh, probably about a hundred, I guess, altogether. Maybe not quite that many uh, that are available directly from the market, but you can. Uh, you can try all kinds of applications. If you can find the APK file, uh, you can sideload it and uh, you can email it to yourself and email does work. Uh, there's a, a back button here that you can use to back up just like on Android devices. And we're back at the main screen and uh, if you use the uh, App Store, uh, the uh, Amazon App Store, that works as well. and. Uh, I think I may have sideloaded that. I don't think that was, well, I know it wasn't available directly from the, from the Amazon market, but uh, it is there and it allows me to load those applications. So uh, you can use the Android market too, but not all applications. And, and, and the uh, Amazon market does reject some applications and says they're not of a, not, uh, uh, I forgot exactly how they word it, but uh, that your device does not support these applications. Okay, so we're back out of that. We're back into the uh, the main menu, and of course we can actually uh, use Pandora. Here's Pandora, or uh, Google Music. If I go to Google Music, uh, it goes. It loads up uh, my music library, and. Uh, allows me to play them just like it would on any other Android device. So I can play my music on the big screen TV if I want to using the sound system for it. Pandora works the same way. Uh, you can set up your different stations on Pandora. By the way, did you notice there was a moving background there? And uh, just sign on to your Pandora account and it will work and operate there. I thought I was already signed on. Facebook works. Photos, if I go to my photos, it will automatically find my account. And by the way, I can sign on to several uh, Picasso accounts, my wife's and mine, and both accounts get sorted into here. So I can see the, uh, the videos and photos from both uh, Picasso accounts. Uh, some of the others, uh, like YouTube, will allow me to view all the YouTube videos like this one here it will be available in a little while and you can watch it on there. Uh, TV and movies, movies is another application that allows you to sort through the various different things that are available to you. Uh, it will be uh, particularly set up for the channels that you get and uh, direct TV or standard TV or however you get cable or whatever you get and uh, it will be looking at the cable the stations that you're able to get. Netflix is the same thing. You can uh, actually uh, view Netflix. You actually go into the application, uh, the Netflix application, and view things just like you would on any other uh, Netflix device. All of it works uh, pretty nice. Uh, the problem is that there's no uh, hardware. The hardware is very limited in this device. The memory is very limited and the processing power are very limited. Uh, you cannot do uh, the video calling unless you use uh, the particular um, 
$150 video uh, net, uh, net cam that uh, Logitech builds and uh, it will, will do it because it does the hardware uh, protocols, I've forgotten what they call it, uh, but it does the hardware in the, the camera itself rather than in the machine because this machine does not support the uh, video calling camera uh, uh, connection. Uh, so there are some limitations, but there are a lot of there is a lot of value, and uh, I think you will really like it. Uh, it really works cool to be able to sit in your chair and uh, read your your mail, your email, or your uh, Facebook account, or to have the system sort uh, this Buddy TV like uh, sorts the channels that are available for you and gives you. Uh, recommendations of, of what's available, what's working right now, what's on right now, and what uh, what may be of interest to you. The programs that, that are there, suggested items, uh, programs that, that are suggested that you might be interested in. And this is like a, a, a TV guide or whatever that allows you to see what's actually on right now and what's coming on next uh, hour or whatever. Uh, so it's all pretty cool and just a different way of doing TV. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, again take a look at my website for more information later on very soon at raywaldo.com, the Bishop of Technology. Have a good day. Bye-bye.